Okay. My desk is at best confused right now, and you're looking at the title of this video going, what about Bluetooth, Zeos? It sucks. Nay, nay. Bluetooth is m misunderstood and misrepresented because it has a torrid history of shittiness, and I'm gonna go over some of that, and I'm gonna go over like what's happening on my desk and how I'm basically trying to revive Bluetooth as an option because it's useful. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower this. Now these are the um, Aladdin Pro Acura Pro uh, uh, Audio Aladdins, and they say Acura in the exact same font that the actual car has Acura written on it. Like it's the exact same. It's just per. It's like a rip off completely. It's little at symbols. And they'll blink if I pause things. Look, they blink like like taillights on a car. So imagine wearing these in public. Wait for it. Wait for it. That's worth it, I swear. There it goes. Anyway, so the company sent me these. Company contacted me, and usually I don't listen to Bluetooth companies. I get offered no less than 50 pair of Bluetooth headphones a month to review, and I don't because why would I? They're all, they're all mostly $35, $40, $21 Bluetooth headphones. If I wanted to, I would just go to goddamn Amazon and take some Patreon money and buy them. But these are $200, and I'm not willing to fork out $200 on a Bluetooth pair of headphones, and for good reason. This is part of the reason why Bluetooth has such a bad rap. Because Bluetooth headphones are headphones made by companies you never heard of out of parts wherever they got them. And the whole gimmick is, oh, they're Bluetooth headphones. So, you know, whatever. No sound cancel, no sound isolation, like uh, active noise canceling. It's got next track, last track, or vice versa. Volume up and down, which is actually in the shape of a positive and negative, which they didn't need to do. I guess it's all right. It just, it feels weird when you press it. Then the big button is for taking calls, play, pause, and hold it down to pair. They're not built terribly. The pads are okay, a little small, like all pads are just always small. They fold, they're made of metal. We're getting this review out of the way. We got other things to talk about. These are not great headphones. Of all the Bluetooth headphones, and I've listened to a couple of those shitty ones, these still sound a little bit better, but they're just bass cannons, and you can't adjust it, and that's, you know, it's it's a Bluetooth headphone. When people say, oh, I got my stuff hooked up Bluetooth, they're snickered at. Oh, that's not what he's talking about. Bluetooth little baby speakers, and this is the anchor I reviewed years ago, and Bluetooth headphones like this, that are just, it's a Bluetooth headphone, are what give Bluetooth a bad name. Old Bluetooth, Bluetooth 3.0, 3.1, whatever the fucking numbers were, that actual transmission codec was garbage. Hot Bronx summer garbage. But now we're talking about Bluetooth 4.0, 4.1, and even beyond that into 5 with aptX. It's no longer... The actual transmission, the actual data that's traveling through the air is not bad. But you can't tell because this is all that exists. This and this. That's Bluetooth to people. Now, what I've got going on on this desk currently is there's one, two, three things that are not using the default. This is a Bluetooth device. Should we start on both well, right here? And these are the closest. And you, and you, and you. I'm gonna put it up alone. I've maxed out. Well, actually, no, I can still raise this. Now, these are my Fidelio X1s. Currently outfitted with the FIO BTR1 Bluetooth receiver, which is this little thing here. FIO sent me this, and it's an aluminum body, plastic bottom, micro USB, play pause button also hold the pair here's your volume rocker also metal back clip also metal and it works well enough put it out here it works well enough 
Its range is a little bit crippled because I put in a metal box. We're going to talk about the MPOW adapters, these things, and how they're in a fully plastic case and can work 40 feet away through walls. And this can't do that. I think it also is, since it is Bluetooth paired with the Shanling M1, that's probably affecting it a little bit too. And what I've got going on here is this, this is a three and a half millimeter output. Here's an auxiliary cable, which is bright neon green because it's from the Go, uh, Google Chromecast. And I'm just gonna bring this up here and I'm gonna go clip. And now, I've got Bluetooth headphones. The best Bluetooth headphones I've heard in this house. Here's my little player. Hit next track, next track plays. I got a decent enough range without stuttering. With this particular setup, which this doesn't have the greatest range and this doesn't have the greatest range, any more than 12 feet apart, and I get like drops, just drops. But this is an option. This Bluetooth receiver is an option and it doesn't sound terrible. The amp, so here's what's happening. Digital music's on here. It stays digital. It turns into Bluetooth. Bluetooth goes through the air. It lands here and a DAC, you know what a DAC looks like. That's a DAC and that's a DAC and this is a DAC built in and there's a DAC. This, is this John Wick? Hold on, I might have to, uh... It might be. Coronation, this is John Wick, hold on. John Wick 2. Oh, so good. Anyway, there's a DAC and an amp and a battery supply. All in this, little son of a bitch. By the way, if you want to change tracks on the uh, BTR1, you hold... And if you want to change the volume, you tap. That's a complete different operation than the uh, MPAL. So just, just noting that. But the point is, this headphone here has a battery, a DAC, and an amp built in. How good are they? I don't know. I can't tell. Because this is all I get to preview it on. Shitty headphones. Now these headphones are a known entity. And I could tell you that the DAC amp, and well, the battery doesn't matter, but the DAC and amp in this are shaking the fuck out of these X1s. And there's stereo, good stereo. I get separation, I get imaging, I get all the things you should get from a portable player, as if I was plugged directly into this. You wanna compare? Here's how you compare, you ready? Watch, one, two, Probably paused. Three. Just keep counting and everything will be fine, Steve. Oh, because it's hooked up Bluetooth. So I'd have to actually physically go and shut off Bluetooth. This is going to take way longer than I had imagined it would take. Here we go. System settings. Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth off. Return. Return. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I listen to it for a few seconds, and I've done this, obviously, off-camera. There's not enough benefit to wiring this up to this, to say, oh, well, Bluetooth is obviously inferior to that. Pausing this, by the way. Oh, God damn it! Get out! Get out of my head. So yeah. Option one. Theo BTR1. Well actually option one is, is this. Option zero is actually by a Bluetooth set of headphones. But the problem with Bluetooth headphones are, again, who Aladdin Audio Acuras? Like like the car? Who? So Proof of purchase number one, decent DAC amp, Bluetooth receiver from a source, good headphones. Oh, Bluetooth isn't shit. Move on to example two over here. Here's an option for you. 
Now, it doesn't have to be this MPOW. I just happened to have it. I bought it and to test it with it. It's a bigger one. It's also battery powered. No buttons at all. And I can't seem to get the touch interface to work on it. But what it's doing currently is it's feeding into the FIO Q1 Mark II, which is a headphone amplifier, a balanced headphone amplifier. And this particular one is Bluetooth connected right here to my phone, which is currently playing Dead Mouse FML through HD 660s. Did I shut this off? I shut this off. Hold on. Powering on. It's doing a thing. It's doing a thing. And now we're back. So now my phone, which this is my, by the way, Motorola Z2 Force, which cost me over 800 fucking dollars with no headphone out. So guess what that means? That means that this is the best thing to happen. How to film that base switch was turned on yeah no so right now my headphone list phone is outputting balanced through a very good DAC amp going digital to digital to digital to analog uh, uh, uh. you can't hear stereo through this microphone or you would Rodrigo and Gabrielle is now streaming from my phone via Bluetooth, 4.1 aptX, into this adapter, into that FIO amp, through my headphones. And I'd have a real impossible time if you didn't show me this. If this was hidden and this was hidden and you're like, listen to these headphones, I wouldn't be able to tell you that. Oh, wait, I, I, it definitely sounds like Bluetooth because it fucking doesn't. Nothing sound like the, oh it sounds like it's coming from Bluetooth does not exist anymore. You used to get really compressed as fuck highs and it used to be literally the sound of digitization was in there. Cause I have a, a Bluetooth 3.0 that I could actually hook up if I really wanted to compare, and it is so not worth it. Charlotte Rampling, my heart and I. Alright? Vocal track. Big time vocal track. By the way, she was from Dexter, season five or six. My heart and I. The frenzy of passion, the numbing break. A symphony, a lullaby. And I cannot tell you that the source for this is uh, crossing a, a distance through the air and then coming to here. And that, that is fucking amazing. That's amazing on Bluetooth count. Now the final example of why Bluetooth isn't shit anymore is really gonna freak you out. Cause here's the MPOW adapter. Any of you that watch my streams on Wednesday and Sunday will recognize these cause occasionally they'll die or I gotta switch them out. And these cost $30. I say these like there's more than one cause there is more than one. You see my tube amp here, my dark voice running modified RCA tubes. You see this right here, plugged into the headphone output? Yeah, that's an exact identical one of these. You just I bought two of them, one in black, one in silver. Because this, unlike the FIO, this has two extra buttons. Yes, it's got volume up and down with track skip, and you, you press it once to skip track and hold for volume on the MPOW. You've got three and a half millimeter output. You've got the USB micro to charge it. And then on top, and you've got the play pause here for Android phone, all that shit. On the top, it's got a switch and a button. And the switch puts it in RX or TX, receive or transmit. So that one's set to transmit and this one's set to receive. And if you turn them both on at the same time with nothing else looking for Bluetooth, the lights will blink, they'll blink, when they stop blinking at the same moment, you've connected these two identical MPOW devices. But see this, why is it plugged into the front of a tube amp? Well, it doesn't have to be the front, it could be the back. It's looking for a line source. That is an ADAC. That is taking the analog source, 
making it digital, i.e. Bluetooth, sending it over here, taking that Bluetooth, turning it back to analog and playing it. This should be a fucking disaster. I, I will admit that fully, that it should be horrendous garbage. And when I picked up one of these and I played with it and I played with it directly like this is Bluetoothing to the phone and this is Bluetoothing to the player. Like, wow, that sounds really good. I wonder how terrifyingly bad it'll be when an ADAC is involved. And I will now pick up my 2000 X's, which are some of the most revealing headphones that I currently have. Probably only beaten by the Ether C's and maybe the phasered 1060s, maybe, maybe. And what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna make sure the volume is up on this because you've got a volume control there, it is. And we're hooked up to the computer, which has the lovely woman from the Drifters and season two of Drifters needs to happen. If you know, if you're a person watching this video and you can make that happen for me, I'd appreciate it. And we're about to play music. through my computer, through this DAC, to fiber optic, to this DAC, to analog, to this tube amp, out of the tube amp's actual power end, into this essentially analog digital converter, where it is currently converting it in a tube state to Bluetooth, and then Bluetooth here is decoding that again, and I could tell you right off the bat, because I've tested this, the tubiness comes through. I, I, it, I mean, this is not the greatest song. Carpenter Brood is not. But this is happening right now. The, right, right. See what's happening right this moment? And actually, I'll blow your minds a little more. So let's bring up the FUBAR controller. So now my phone is just controlling FUBAR 2000 with the FUBAR 2000 controller add-on through my Wi-Fi. But it's playing music through a tube amp, through a Bluetooth sender to a Bluetooth receiver. Keeping in mind these both cost me $30. So this is a $60 basically extension cable that I'm, I'm backing way, way, way the fuck out of that room. I mean, I'm out of that room. I'm, I'm gone. There's not, I'm not even there anymore. And I'm just gonna back into my bathroom now. Hello, bathroom, how you doing? It's not skipping a, I, I'm, I can control my music via a controller coming through a tube amp all the fucking way in another room to this receiver and it's playing into my 2000X, what, what, what world are we in? where this is acceptable to Zeos. I'm hearing the tube amp through a magic thing. It's magic. What? And I'm controlling and I can control the volume from here too, which is actually physically lowering FUBAR in that room, which is lowering the signal that's going into the amp if I wanted to do it that way. And fuck you, Bluetooth. You're ruining it. I'm going to a head fi meet. I'm going to a head fi meet um, the end of next month. Probably this review will be out before then, maybe it won't. And I want to fuck with people there, because that's my job, sort of, isn't it? Isn't it like to do blind testing? So it's some, somewhere in the mix of my whatever equipment I decide to throw in a box and, and set up there, I'm going to just not put RCA cables between a DAC and an amp. If I bring this big MH8, maybe it'll be for that one, or maybe it'll just be between these two. And I'm gonna feed the output with that, and I'm gonna feed an input with this. And I'm gonna let people listen to all my headphones across Bluetooth. And I wanna see if any one of them will just say, oh wow, something's wrong with this. Something, something doesn't sound right. With these, I know these headphones. I'm gonna let them plug their own. I'm gonna set up an amplifier. And I'm gonna let everyone plug their own fucking headphones into it, and it's gonna be set up via Bluetooth, via these MPOWs, which are literally, if Jesus could give birth, I'm sure it would be an egg. That egg would hatch, and there'd be a pair of MPOW adapters in it. 
Someone animate that and, and post it in the comments, please. But this, this doesn't make any fucking sense. No one's doing this. That's why Zeos gets paid the big bucks to be stupid and figure things out. Because I'm just, I'm floored. Oh, and if you don't want to like, okay, so that's dumb. Here, plug that in. Comes with one of these, the MPOWs each come with, with one of these little three and a half to three and a half. Uh, you want to plug in the ships, or do you want to plug in the Edition S, or if you still want to play with the, you know, X1s, X2s, let's go ships. Let's go ships. Look, ready? Is that up all the way? It is. And you, you could blow this up, I'm sure, if you pushed enough power through it, but an RCA line signal is two and a quarter volts. And most volume controls, you could find a per you got a multimeter out and find perfectly two and a quarter volts. So I mean, I could run this through the line out and I could do all sorts of shit. But this works. You're looking at what works. So you want to go? <sighs> now we've got hybrid tube. Actually, I don't need to raise that. I can just raise this. So now the tube amp is is, is pre-outing into this, and I can hear a difference. I'm the, I'm, 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 you, you are? I am. I fucking am. I am fucking amazed that I could hear the, the tube amp difference through, through Bluetooth. And it's, it doesn't sound like shit. It literally sounds great through these, through, from and to. All right, let me pick them both up. Get out of there. From, to, green, blue. Coochie, 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 coo. Do you under I don't even understand, all right? And the whole point of this video is that I don't understand and I want someone to come on and tell me I'm bad. See, that's the beautiful thing about Z reviews. I've thought about this. I don't want you to trust me. It's very, very Topa, Togin, Garen, Lagan. Don't believe in me. Believe in you who believes in me. If you think I'm lying, wait till this video's been out a week. Someone will buy these two and test this. And they'll post in the comments. And if I'm wrong, you'll read it there. I don't delete comments unless they're really fucking stupid about my fat wrists. Then you fucking die. But other than that, if I'm lying, everyone in the comments will say so. Because 50 people will probably go out and buy these now. And if they suck, they'll come back to complain. Go through all my comments. That's where you find the truth. Because I can lie. But the other 50 people down there, they're not going to lie. They don't have a fucking, they don't give a shit. They'll tell you the honest truth. This is dumb. These two things are so stupid. And you'll think of a reason to have them. The only thing they won't do, because they they have a microphone built in, so you can take a phone call with it. But when, it, when the, a Bluetooth device like this is connected to a phone, it has two modes. Perfect fucking stereo mode, which we, we now know this has. And make a phone call mode, which puts... One channel to shitty left, shitty like listen to the phone call, and the other channel becomes microphone send. So unfortunately, you can't just replace like a, a gaming headset. If you are one of those people who just needs a wireless headset, you can't use the microphone on this and get good sound. It's one or the other. That being said, if you're just one of those people who loves to experiment, put that there. Put this there. How is this little fucking thing shaking my X1s? How could there be that much power in it? Full, full tilt. Oh! Loud. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fucking get it, all right? If I got it, I'd tell you how I got it. But I don't get it, so we're just going to go with the, with the, I don't know, magic. And it's just these, I've tried it with this feel. I like this feel. I really do. I love the build of it. The range kills it. I cannot walk into my bathroom with this going. Not even close. Like, through this wall is going to be a problem. No one's seen this, this, do you get what this is? 
I'll link this in the description as well as the wallpaper. Not that wallpaper, you don't get that one, but that. I'll link that, and Drifter's Girl, and... I've been excited to make this review, just because I want to tell people this, this works. This fucking works! That doesn't make any sense. And it works well. I could put these headphones on if you, if you really wanted to be pro about it. You'd custom make a wire and put the little receiver up here. And it would just, oh. I could put this on here. I could put my phone in my pocket. I could Bluetooth to my phone. I could walk around in public with any headphones I want, as long as they take three and a half millimeter. Otherwise, you're going to end up with like this arrangement and a thing and it's going to... Oh, let me just point one more thing out. Oh, the uh, BTR came with a little charger and a... Whatever the fuck one of these things is called. Lanyard. Came with this lanyard. It's really too long, which you don't need. If you have something like this, like the Fio X7 Mark II. Unless you're going to Bluetooth to a really high-end pair of speakers. And I, I know this is weird to point out. Like the iLouds. Or these are the Audio Engine HD6s. They'll both take Bluetooth. And they're both excellent. Really, you bought this for, for, the, for the amp module. You bought it for this. And will the amp down here sound better than a $30 amp out Bluetooth receiver? Yeah. But I'm going to say yeah. Like, like, yeah. Like, you have to really be paying attention. If you're out and about and there's cars and shit, that, that, yeah, it, it, this will still sound better. But if you have one of these, I wouldn't bother Bluetoothing to it from it just because unless you're doing this, and at that point, just wire it up. You paid nearly seven hundred dollars for this thing. I'm, 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 I am, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking flabbergasted. I, I, the, the fact that I'm pushing the sound of tubes through the airwaves. Shit. Also, you might want to consider if you have a laptop. Laptops have shit sound cards. They're always shit. No matter what. I've never heard a laptop that you plugged in and it's good. I think Apple has like one or two super high-end $2,000 models that you plug in and it's okay. I'll buy one of these. And blue, every laptop's got Bluetooth. Just Bluetooth to that. Don't feed, don't plug this into the shitty out. Because then that's just going to transmit shit. That is transmitting everything. Transmitting tube fucking... Uh, you understand? I can't even... Uh, uh. So yeah. If you have a laptop and you just don't want to have b shitty on board, boom, one of these. And this will still work while charging. You just, as soon as you plug it in, it'll lose connection. And the other... Did I tell you what the button is for? I didn't tell you what the button is for. It'll hold on to the memory of two devices. It'll it'll Bluetooth connect to two devices and you could swap back and forth. So currently I've got this one is receiving from there. I don't believe this is set up to receive from anything else. Holding it down. She's off now. Unless this does it. No. She's, she's just... Oh, she's searching for a device. So I could, in all theory, tell this to fuck off. Come on. Bluetooth. Not off. More settings. Come on. This is searching. It's searching. What do we got? What do we got? Come on. Come on. Be there. Be there. Be there. Be there. No, not the Aladdin audio. I want something else. There it is. Link. 4833. Couldn't pair because incorrect pin or passkey. Do it anyway. Ooh. Close. I'm using Fubar 2000 on this, by the way. Okay, so now I've got. So now this is sending to these X2s, and I'm gonna dance. Because I'm known to dance. Next, Neil Diamond, if you go away, Mr. Robot. I'm going to hold down that little button on this again. It goes beep beep. Beep beep ooh. Let's see what that's doing. Come on. Do it. Is it blinking again? 
So now we gotta pair it, then do that. The point is, it should be able to switch back and forth between two sources. Which would be fucking amazing. I don't know how. I don't know how you would use that in like a day to day, not with this sort of system, but yeah, that's a thing. Are we done now? I think we're done. I'm linking to every single thing I got here. I mean, there are bigger Bluetooth, like like the Audio Engine B1 was what really started off the like the Bluetooth revolution, but that fucking thing was 200 plus dollars. Of course it sounded good. The fact that these little cheap ones will still sound good. It's coming off my phone. I think this is definitely playing off of Spotify, off my phone, which is, we got multiple things going on, and... <sighs> okay, Bluetooth is done now. Am I done talking about Bluetooth now? Have you stopped being afraid of the Bluetooth? Bluetooth is a cheap, inexpensive, which is the same as cheap, but it's... Having no wire is super interesting. And having it not suck with no wire. And having the ability to like, well, if you don't, let's just plug it into a goddamn external DAC amp. You get an Oppo Hot 2. Fio, I will say this. This is the X1 Mark II. And I love it. Balanced output. It's, it's a solid unit. The, Q, the Q1? No. It's the Q1. The Q5 is coming, which will be their flagship amp DAC which is going to be almost this big probably that big and it's going to have bluetooth built in so what we're all bullshitting about and imagine taking your phone and instead of strapping a thing and then having that stupid wire now that i've told you that bluetooth can be great the actual transmission of it can be phenomenal imagine just taking one of those DAC amps so cute just pop it on the back and none of that stupid jumper wire shit my phone's not looking so bad, is it? Is it now? Now my phone is looking pretty good. Because you're just keeping it all fucking in Bluetooth, all digital. You don't have to jump that wire. It's got its own battery. It adds a headphone jack. It'll add balance. It'll be amazing. I'm stopping this now. I have to go eat. I feel, I feel like I need a Snickers bar. Because I feel like I'm in that commercial. Wallpaper download. Patreon link in the upper right and in the description. Um, links to everything... Ever? Sound demo to these Aladdin audios I have to get done and I'll put down there. If I don't release them immediately with it, I'll release it soon after. And uh yeah. Little papers and patrons and yard sales at the beginning of the month, and I don't forget I stream on Wednesdays and Sundays, where you will see the M Power Adapters. Sending Cheese's voice, Cheese's lovely angelic voice to my headset. Cool.